The 288-page guidepost investigative report says survivors and other concerned Southern Baptists repeatedly shared allegations with Floyd's executive committee, only to be met time and again with the resistance, stonewalling, and even outright hostility. The report also says Floyd tried to prevent the motion for the investigation from being introduced or approved at the Nashville Convention. Now, in a statement of 4029, Dr. Floyd said, quote, We did not resist the motion. The only question about the motion was the waiving of attorney-client privilege, which was unprecedented in any motion ever adopted. I supported the independent investigation. I also hired Guidepost to do it even before the 2021 convention. But how the investigation was carried out was met with contention. The report says some SBC voting members called messengers said the executive committee should not oversee an investigation of itself. The report also asserts that an executive committee staffer maintained a list of Baptist ministers accused of abuse, but there is no indication anyone took any action to ensure they were no longer in positions of power at the SBC churches. Dr. Floyd is also attached to statements throughout the report of victims claiming a slow or lack of response to their stories of abuse by clergy. In a statement of 4029, Floyd says, quote, the thought of any sexual abuse done to anyone abhors me. And every executive committee staff member who is serving with me, along with trustees that I know, has been united in our desire to care for people, while at the same time doing what we have been asked to do by the convention. Now the report comes out just one month before the next Southern Baptist Convention in Anaheim, California. It recommends forming an independent commission as well as an offender database and more education. Now, as for Dr. Floyd, he told me that he's speaking around the country and helping with churches and ministers. We're live in Rogers, Palpatine, 4029 News.